Welcome, welcome, and thank you for messing around. We got some more Vampire Survivors Operation Guns here. In fact, the last of it for the second wave is Samundo Belmont is going to be suffering terribly over here on Inverse Neo Galaga. This is not going to go well. No, well, I guess hard to fire. You know, summon stuff. Well, actually, that's what I had to do. I had to go blow up. Alright, I'm going to need as much stuff as I can get, because I'm going for Greatest Jubilee, because it sort of synergizes with what he does. And because it spawns light sources. Armor. I'm going to need armor. I've sealed off everything I can. That's effective, so... Oh, grenade. Nice. Oh, Glover, luck. Needs stuff to spawn. It's about as best as I'm gonna get. 28 damage. 28 damage. Round. What else am I gonna take? I'm not gonna need anything to evolve. Can't evolve. Health it is. Alrighty. Oh, Clock Lancet. It'd actually be very good. Ta -da. Oh, let's make the explosion bigger. And it's to the second wave and I'm doomed. Oh, maybe if I got a Pomerola, I would have had enough health regeneration. It takes like three hits to take them out. There's nothing that can be done. Yeah, this is entirely luck based. Oh. Can't even get anything from rapid fires. I guess I could have gone awake from the start. That would have been weird, though. I was like grabbing things instead of just running re rolls till I saw Greatest Jubilee or not. It's not like I need Arcana. There we go. And with light sources constantly exploding. Yay! Wow, that's a lot of luck sources. Oh, and out of bounds too would be great. Oh, well, upfront damage is not great still, but hey. Oh, wait, no, I can't get the weapon power ups. I can't really use them, I should say. Well, there goes that barrier ASAP. I max out on my passive, so I can just go Armadillo here. Oh, nice luck there with that pet event. Tome. And then a tract orb and probably pop all up. That seems right. Oh, huh, why is the graphic messed up there? Hey, base damage off, that's nice. There's one, two, three more on the map. Well, let's get my luck up maxed, because that's helpful. I'll do enough damage to take out dang dragonflies, that's nice. Alright, let's run out as many shots as I can get. Yeah, I probably will went out of bounds since it turns Aura Logans into a nuke. That means he has a chance of getting three nukes per geez. Per wave of anything. So good. Good compromise there. Well, not really compromise, but that's what I have to do. No, oh, that's not good. They're surviving already. NFT too. NFT does so much damage so fast. Well, at least I'm defensive. That's helpful. Uh, yeah, there's just two more pop weapons to pick up. So I have space for one more. Why am I going down? That was weird. There's a boss and a Molison. Nice, nice. Okay, this is strangely going better than a lot of other characters. That's not a really good sign. I, I don't, wait, what died? How did it die? 
Oh, you didn't die. Where's that chest from, man? Oh, wait, it's from the two-minute boss. Jeez. Hey. Oh, get that Orlo again. Man, the Melises are not going down easy either. Jeez, 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 jeez. Well, that's, you know, what happens occasionally. You just don't get much done in Vampire Survivors. Old Simundo is well past his prime. That was a bunch of levels, huh? Oh, good. Now, nah, get this one first. I don't want to double back. You have to double back anyway, but still. Gotta be efficient. Gotta be efficient. Oh, man. Training this part always messes me up because it really looks an in inverse that you can go down there. Normal, it's much, much better. Ooh, chicken wave. Yeah, lucky, lucky, lucky. Lucky Samundo. I need to grab some old sanctuary right here. That is it. Dang, it wasn't able to grab those two great things in the dang wall. That's annoying. This would have been very, very helpful. Ooh, grenade. Still isn't enough to wipe everything up. Hey, you got the spawn. Nice. But yeah, Wicked Season actually might be feasible. Get all that luck up, spawns them in more. Not yet. Not yet. In fact, let me go grab the armadillo just so I have something else so I don't accidentally grab you. Oh, wow. Man, that poor Logan did not last long. What do I want? I want survivability, so Pomola. It's so little, and it's so much. Oh, good, I can get around the bosses. It's just barely. Can I skirt through here, or are they the dead end? Nope, just got through barely. I think I'm going to be saying barely like 5,000 times with this guy, because look at what's going on. And yet, it still feels like it's going to actually succeed faster than a lot of other characters. Okay, there's the finisher. That's going to really help my DPS. I want wings. I don't really need it. Uh, some luck would be appreciated. There we go. Lucky. Lucky Samundo. Okay, maybe I will need to grab a track with so I can grab all the stuff that keeps spawning in the walls. I mean, it doesn't get bonuses from damage, it seems, so... Thanks. Well, I hit them with a bunch of grenades and they're all still fine. That's not a good sign. But, yeah, this is going a lot easier than I thought it would be. He's... Well, that's mostly because of the power upgrade is Jubilee, but obviously I didn't get it. It'd be going terribly. But it is definitely a weapon that goes well synergized with Simundo's, you know, character? Why is it 12 already? That doesn't make sense. Oh, it goes. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. I didn't get that many levels. I don't really need the area. I just want might. And I don't need to really kill the bosses except to get them out of my way. More damage is anything to step about, but it does slow them down pretty large amount. So that's very helpful. And if I rapid fire endlessly, because we oh, so many rapid fires. Another grenade in here. Yep, now we get to the worst part. I, mean, I still need as much money as possible. Uh, let's see, what do I want from the Arcana? I have options. Very few options. Oh, no, it's just going to be either Cerebonde or Awake. I grab Awake earlier, because it's safer. Oh, man. I might actually not have to go... Might not actually take on Big Fuzz, because it's going to be safer, right? Or, well, I mean, it's going to be safe either way. It's just going to take forever to take him down, because it'll be so durable. 
I mean, do I want Tier Chisu over... Hmm. Options. I have options, which is very strange for a character with no weapons. Damage. Damage. Safety. Grab everything is also a type of safety. Hmm. Well, let me know which one you would have picked, because that's a very interesting choice on my end. I think I will go with the safety of Chirajisu. I think it'll be better, because I should not be getting wiped out immediately, so... And if I do, I'd much rather have stuff on the back end to protect myself. Rosary. NFT. Alright, let's burn down this Atlantean. Yeah, it got pretty durable with all the stuff picked up, so that's nice. Oh, bye bye, Gold Rush. All the barriers help as well. Oh, right, I went out of bounds. Duh. Alright, this is going way, way, way better than I ever thought it would be. Like, kind of crazy better. I was expecting this to be one of the hardest of the 12, but frankly, having an easier time than even Bahamut is. It's just so strange. Jail Crystal. No. Good, but no. Where are you at, Hourglass? There you are. Good ol' out of bounds. That'll turn this into an endless nuke. So that means I have three pickups that do high damage to the whole map. Does it? Oh, there's a bunch of them over there, too. Grab. Let's do that. Yep, just clear them all out. Interesting way to build for that. In fact, if you weren't doing the greatest Jubilee stuff, you... Oh no, it only spawns Contra pickups. Well, either way, it is a viable one to start with. Probably better than Heart of Fire. But Heart of Fire, you know, it still gives me that retaliation damage to start with, so that's very helpful. Oh, really messed up my positioning here. Yep. We need eight, eight armor. Yeah, no, that's that's your basic armor with armor. Has the sheer number of power-ups that helps keep things away. Da, da, da. Okay, yeah, I think he has it. Look at Cerebonde. Well, once I can get away from the dang Atlantean punching you in the face. Does he have some sort of additional defensive thing, though? Because that, that feels like it's too little damage, even for this much health. Oh, NFT. There's the boss. Let's see if I can actually find the Atlanteans in here and burn them down. There they are. There's more NFT on the back end, too. Yeah, at the end, this year volley of power-ups really makes it surprisingly durable and damaging. Just, you know, getting to that point is dangerous. Yeah, he took out the long legs pretty quickly once he got it focused. Granted, it's Greatest Jubilee's ability to pick stuff up is doing a lot of hard work here, but still. Really hard to see the Atlantic kids in this mess, though. Really hard to see them. Da, 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 da. But, yeah, this is surprisingly simpler than I thought it would be for Neo Galaga inverse. Like, crazy. Absolutely crazy this is happening. No weapon is apparently better than Diver Mines. Oh yeah, get nuked. I have NFT going. Hey, a level. Actually, that's a lot of kills too. That's an incredibly large number of kills considering. Uh, three greatest Jubilee are incredible. Heck, if I had might. Oh man, duration and amount? I guess amount's better. Duration. Uh, heck, I might just grab Cerebonde for a healing nuke. Oh, wait, can I see the Atlantean and burn him up? Yeah, he's right there in front of me. Taking a lot of damage. Oh, boss. Boss. 
chickens. Yay, chickens. I suppose anyone can technically win if you just create his jubilee like this, but still. Kills are going up slow now since we got to the really durable waves, but. Uh, da, da, da. Yep, another Aurora Logan nuke. Oh, and a wave of power up spawned in. You know, you could build him pretty differently. Could go for Cerebon, a Disco of Gold. Rondo of Gold. Ah, man. I always forget that. Why? Why do I always forget that? I'm gonna just grab away just in case. Going through 10 lives seems unlikely with the sheer volume of healing and safety coming up, but just to be sure. I'm not gonna challenge Big Fuzz because it would, well, it's only hitting for like 96. That will take slightly longer than forever. This video is going to be long enough as it is. Da, da, da. Oh, let's see. Workshop and titles for this one. Greatest Jubilee is the greatest weapon. Vampire Cyber's Operation Gun. Sununa doesn't need a weapon except this one. Power ups are overpowered. Vampire Spiders. Beswick style. Feels, oh, why did I do that? Okay, then. Oh, weird. It is default to grabbing power ups on the ground. Good thing I can, you know, not accept them. Yep, greatest Jubilee is so crazy good. I have to just keep repeating it. I did not think it would be this easy with Semundo. He's at 3300k. No, he's not. He's at 30,000. It's gonna be like the highest kill count of anyone I have, isn't it? Oh, now the grenades are just coming in. Heck, if I had gotten a wicked season, it well, wouldn't have changed much, but it would have been more luck, which. Actually, maybe I will go wicked season on. Late Library? Late Library. So, yeah, it should be simpler there. Oh. Uh oh, Stalker. Is there a grenade or there's a rosary over there? Oh, over here. Yeah, and you're banished to the abyss, Stalker. Get wrecked for once. Basically, oh, there's Taka. Oh, Taka, you're so silly. Hey, might. Hey, I'm doing over 100 damage to hit now. Nice. Not very helpful, but hey. Hey. Yeah, it looks like you'll have one of the highest kill counts on Neo Galaga. Even Sheena wasn't this high. Her weapon was pretty ridiculous. Like 4k damage, though. Still not enough here. Hmm. I mean, if I'm doing getting this many kills, maybe a patch came through that did lower it. You know? Could come through during the loadout time between switching. Turn the Xbox on first, and then I do a back end. Oh, that explains a lot. Boy, is 4K expensive on the encoder. Well, that explains what's going on with Starship Troopers extermination streams. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to go down to 1080p like a caveman. Oh, but then I guess I could stream to Twitch, too. Oh, Cyborg Presence. Hi, Big Foes. You are going to be surviving this time, because there's no way I'm going to be taking the 80 hours to beat you up. Nah, I've got way too much stuff on the ground to die here. That's fairly ridiculous. Oh, right, Atlantean. That's why I was trying to come up here in the first place. Show you in existence, show you into pain and destruction. Well, destruction seemed unlikely, but pain should be guaranteed. I could probably just gonna be able to chain Aura Logans at this rate. He's actually not. Oh, I saw it uh, in Dex's video with the spell storm spam. Is that. You know, it's something you sort of notice, but it doesn't. When they're in freeze, they don't get knocked back. Which is a lot of problems for DPS overall. These things get knocked back, then get pushed in by other mobs, and things sort of just happen. Oh wow, I'm a lot. 
They're not going to get through endless chicken. But they're certainly trying their best. Oh, wow. They're going to actually take a life. Yeah, so Sarah Bounty might have been better. Alright, let's see. Simundo Belmont never dies. Never stay dead with Simundo Belmont. Vampire Survivors, Bez with 177. It is 177, right? Really need to check that ahead of time, but I should do a lot of things ahead of time. But I'm panicky and lazy. I how long I can survive against a little Reaper face here. Mask of the Red Death. More. Oh, I got bosses showing up. Oh, well, now I'll take down the volcano and land you. How many power ups did I just pop? Oh no! Bye bye, Samundo. You were way, way easier than a lot of other characters. Uh oh. Greatest Jubilee, 207 million. Uh, enemies defeated, 36,000. I think that actually is the top mount for what I have. Huh. Well, that's one run down. Let's see how the inlaid library kicks out. Okay, okay. Let's see if Simundo can repeat that strong performance on Neo Galga. I mean, knowing I can't scroll down on the right there on console. I should probably mention that in the Discord. All right, in late library, same circumstances. Going to grab great greatest jubilee. See if Simundo Belmont can do this. No, actually. I mean, Heart of Fire just synergizes with the idea of the build fine enough. Alright. Well, Retaliation Damage by 1 at the start is fine. Oh, barrier already. Right. I should speak with Old Trouser there. I mean, Empty Tome's on the map, as is nothing else really helpful. Why am I going this way? There you are, Trouser. Huh, oh, you're not in burst. Okay. Let's roll up and rev up. Wow, that made absolutely no sense at all, did it? Alrighty. And Silent Old Sanctuary, because, well, it's still Silent Old Sanctuary. Two, three, round. Roll up. I don't need it want damage as much as survivability here. Rapid fire, yay! You're not useful. Oh, that's not great, but still, I'll take it. Red gun. Hey. Clover. Oh, this is really bad. I have to get out of here, like ASAP. That's not something I can mess with. Yeah, these mobs last to two minutes. There's my darling grenade. Let's get as many of you want. Oh. oh, that was timed well, okay. Yay, more dust elementals. They do not have the durability required for this. Ooh, NFT, excellent. I can just walk through them all. These are helpful enough that I'm fine with grabbing them right now. Since I still need health, I don't want to die. Simundo does not want to die! Oh, might as well. Alright, let's try and find you, Mr. Alright, after enough re-rolls, I want to try, because I don't want to give up the ghost, as it were. Clover. Don't oh, grab this other barrier for one hit of protection. Yay! Ooh, it's up to two. Nice. There you are, Greatest Jubilee. Now it should be no trouble to win. Yeah, if Neil Gallagher can beat him, Inlay Library doesn't have a chance. Alright, more hollow art action. I mean, my damage is going to be worse, but... Well, survivability. 
Survivability. Oh, walk up first, actually. Get more power-ups that way. Yeah. Oh, what a silly way you have to build when you don't have a starting weapon. You don't even get a candy box to compensate. How do I even want my last one? Uh, is anything else boost up? Oh, right, I want it. Try Wicked Season. Uh, I forget things. It's only been a couple minutes and I've already forgotten everything I want to do with my life. Yeah. Area properly. I get the benefit of anything else. At best, Toronto's box, so might as well. Alright, empty tome I go. Eventually. Ooh, the area isn't big enough for them to chain off each other, huh? That's not something you really think about, huh? Normally, you're going to be running with Candelabra or things that make it bigger. Yeah, oh, it's maxed out. Doesn't evolve, so I don't need to worry about limit breaking it. Things have. And I don't think it gets speed. Even if it does, it's not the worst since it does require things to hit. Well, let's just go random always. Make this a very fast in late library. Oh. 1,000 damage, so it doesn't one-shot like the Rosary could. But it might do more damage than the Rosary, since the Rosary is instant kill and not raw damage. Oh, wow. They're surviving. That's peculiar. Maybe I'll go later Wicked Season. It's still in late library. It shouldn't be difficult. With enough luck, it'll compensate. All right, hail and healthy. And rapid fire. Watch that damage fly. Yep. And the later waves aren't even that much more durable than this one. Like, the hardest one is maybe the sassy witches. Well, the hag. But the hag is a boss. That's not really matter. Hey, chicken wave. Luck. Yay, luck. That'll be very helpful with spawning even more luck. I do have random events on. I've had pets show up. I've had other things show up. Man, they're taking way more damage than I thought they would. It's in late library. You can basically sleepwalk through it unless you're lands. Okay, that's just a shortcut was bad. Lance should be good. He gets cooldown reduction natively. That's amazing. Pay to win. Yeah, pay, uh, what was it, two bucks more for winning? Uh-oh. Okay, good. I still might be able to avoid getting that. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. I knew it was coming, too. Red gem. That's going to be, what, three levels? Oh, I did it. Give me any. That was really risky and dumb. Well, I mean, I know what I'm talking about. I'm thinking about taking Wicked Season with this. Alright, they're going... Why did I grab that? Dang empty tome spec. Well, it's, I mean, it's only one level, so it's not that big a deal, but still. Tag the old up. Let's grab a U. Freezing? No, you're down there, freezing. Don't grab any chests. I do not want to run into that trouble. Wow, you are so slow. It's incredible how slow you are, Mr. Atlantean. Well, maybe that's why you sank beneath the waves and have to befuddle poor vampire survivors. Well, let's max out my damage. My poor, poor, pathetic damage. Yeah, now charge him up. Big and bad. Another grenade. I banish you to Ron's box, and now I can just flat A when I get my next level up storm. Oh, it's taking three grenades. Almost like it was obvious they would take that many. And many more. Rosary of Calm. Hey you. We're Logan time. I shouldn't need awake at all here. 
So I'll probably go Sarah Bonde on the back end. What else is it really going to do? I don't know if that was Greatest Jubilee or Simundo innate ability. Yeah, Silver Ring maxed out. Greatest Jubilee maxed out. Yeah, it gets speed for no real benefit, but... Alright, let's go punch the other ones and get him some golden eggs. Not quite a farm in action, but... Well, what else am I going to do for 19 more or 18 more... 9 more minutes? Oh, or Logan. Man, this would be way crazier with so much more luck granted by Wicked Season. Oh, that could be done for third wave. What would I even want for his weapons on the third wave? You know, obviously, Greatest Jewelry. Empty Tome, of course, Clover. And then. Hawk Lancet. No, that's a weapon. It's not a passive. So Spellbinder, maybe then. That's a chest. Candy box, I don't want anything to do with you. Wait, no, Armadillo. So you want something to do with you. I mean, I really shouldn't need anything else. Like, even this is excessive. Yep, just walking through, clearing them all out. And I bet this will fall back on me terribly in the end. It will matter. It will matter so much. Got my jewel. Yeah. I actually just got finished. Well, another candy box. Can't get double armadillo, though. That would be helpful. Hey, Ark. No, you're not Arcana Bat. You're just a random bat out of nowhere. But yeah, I watched one of Dex's videos, like, before this recording, and it was kind of hilarious, considering how many times I've gone off on Cotton Eye Joe to hear him do it as well. Uh, the world is square. Enix. There's another chest I don't need or care about. Now, maybe if there was a super... Armadillo Game of the Year edition. It might be, but it's not. I do some of them flash like that. I could, there's no indoors here. It's all the same plane. Very peculiar. I should just ask that in the Discord. They tend to know a lot. I had no idea that there was an actual cap on light. On the other hand, it doesn't feel like there is. It's weird like that. Man, they're just getting mowed down. Clearing well past Neil Gallia here. Not a surprise, it's in my library. It's got like two waves that could be remotely recalled dangerous. And neither of them are still that dangerous. It's gonna have a lot of this. Yeah, I'm just chaining all the ends. Yep, the tractor was totally the right call. Oh, did I ever take down that old boss? No, okay. Well, one, one moon of lanterns down. I presume the city of lanterns down, because that doubled. Oh, yeah, right. Well, he came with a candy box, didn't he? Yep, here are the witches coming in. Oh, hey, they're actually hitting me. It's a surprise. Actually, I should get around to a gold, shouldn't I? I mean, don't get enough power-ups and stuff to do it. Yeah, I actually have to slow down because they're just durable enough to get in on me. On the other hand, I don't care. No guts, no glory. Or, I guess, no engine, no glory. He's a robot man. Oh wow, well, they're doing a lot. I actually should stay still and heal up before I fight the Atlanteans. Spawn them in. I didn't need the mask. It's not like five holes was gonna make that much of a difference on my killing power. Alrighty, you're up 
top normally, which means you're down below, which means you're right there. And you've spawned in, Mr. Atlantean. Let's see how long that lasts. Well, longer than it should, considering I don't seem to be getting much in the way of NFTs. Wait, no, grenade. Oh, despawned. There's the boss wizard. Let's go grab the other Atlantean so I'm more efficient with my DPS here. Show my hell to burn. Yeah, they've only got like 200 HP. They've got less HP than the second wave mobs on Neo Galaga. That's way over to Hey! The 4.6 damage is terrible. Or anything else I could even use. I guess Mad Groove. This more than anything. This card. Wow. That is a laser. What is his speed at? Why is his speed so high? Absolutely nuts. I didn't get Chaos and the Dark Knight on accident, right? No. He's just got a billion speed for some reason. Oh, random event. Atlantean. It's not like I really need anything else. And it's kind of synergistic with his build. It's not really. It means I'm grab War Logan's out of bounds and stuff, and I don't want to, but hey. It's there. No. Dang it. Yeah, the joystick's running me north again. That's bad. Ah, that's bad. It's actually happening for a while before I even start the channel. Then it sort of stopped after a while. Don't know why. Don't know why it started in the first place. I wasn't hitting up that hard. Now, that actually reminds me of a kind of funny story of me playing Resistance 2. And I started a cutscene, ended the cutscene in a completely safe area, put the controller down to go do something, came back, and I was walking off a cliff and dying because the joystick was pushed up. It drifted upwards. And I died a lot, apparently. Oh, if there was any sort of no death challenge on there. I still wouldn't have never ever done it. Man, look at all them power-ups flying out. Imagine how much it would be with more luck. Actual large number of luck granted by the Wicked Season. He would basically chain himself to be invincible, wouldn't he? Well, that's uh, what third wave could do. In fact, that will be the very next video after this one. I'm going to go in reverse order so I can get more Operation Guns in. Yeah. Work backwards through the DLCs. Flipping around. Oh, wow. Well, they're actually getting in. Yeah, this is the sassy which way. It's the only other... Oh, I guess the, the Gorgons also could do things. That was really weird. The amount of luck there. Non luck there. Well, having the dart around the old hag here. Didn't help. What was that? Oh, it was the effect for causing it to spawn in. Hey, you get chained by Aura Logans. I suppose in theory anyone could grab Druid's Jubilee and chain Aura Logans without a bounds in order to try to win even in worse circumstances. Really? Candy Box 2 Turbo Edition? Wow, his kill count is... Oh, I mean, I've seen worse. 50k. Not the worst for a man with no weapon to start with. Obviously, there were more effective ways to go for kills, but... Well, I guess after... I guess, I guess, I guess... I guess 2 plus 2 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 8 is 14. I don't guess. I know that after Neil Gallagher, he would have been able to take this with no trouble. 
That's why I wanted Wicked Season to put a little bit more pizzazz into the video. But, uh, yep. Looks like someone who Belmont's No Weapon Journey through in my library is going to be fine. He doesn't need any books. He's got all the knowledge he needs from sheer utter luck. And this chain and screen clears now. Oh, that was a vacuum with a bunch of red gems. Yep, nice and toasty. Nice and toasty. Just with less ghost power going on. I wonder how long I can survive the Reaper. Oh, what the heck? Why are you so durable, thing? Wow, I had so many barriers set up there. Oops, I meant to revive to press on. Is that less damage than the first one? I thought it was like 400k, 400 mil. Or, no, it was either 400 or 4 million either way. Uh, da, da, da. Wow, Harbor Fire did nothing. Out of Bounds, though, did a lot. Yeah, that was da, 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 like a 10% damage increase. Okay, so maybe less than you thought, but anti-synergy there. Anti-synergy there. But yeah, Simon to Belmont cleared both in one go. That's a surprise, a nice surprise for once. So next up is going to be Simon to Belmont again as I reverse around for the third wave. Thanks for watching. And in what is an actual surprise, Simon to Belmont has shown us that, well, he is strongest. I really was not expecting this whatsoever to go so cleanly, but he Frankly, it was the best of all the DLC characters in clearing Galaga at all. No one else came close. That's pretty incredible. So, thank you for watching this episode of the Vampire Survivors Beswick 177. We have cleared out the second wave again, except for, well, I think Ghost and otherwise. I would like to appreciate anyone who has liked, disliked, commented, or subscribed because of these videos. The support keeps me going. It's always nice to see it go up. If you haven't, please do. And if you haven't still, hey, that's cool. Either way, I hope everyone has a good day and that you keep messing around in Vampire Survivors.